Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is a uh, series that I'm going to do to try to help uh, people with blue screens um, and blue screens of that, of course, the dreaded blue screen where your computer might at some point just give you some error message, which is often very cryptic and kind of, um, you know, for most people it's like, yeah, well, I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. Um, and even uh, tech guys, you know, it's not always obvious. Some are, some are not. And of course, we're going to go through the process of explaining what is the major cause of blue screens. We're also going to talk about freezes, which are different from blue screens because the operating system doesn't bug check, doesn't actually go into a state where it restarts. But there are a few things that you need to know about blue screens, including the fact that if you have one, the computer actually will have and create a dump file or a file on your hard drive that has all sorts of details of what happened. And uh, we're going to also explain where to find that. So the first thing to understand about blue screens is that the majority of blue screens are not Windows related. Windows is a very, very stable system. And blue screens are often the problem of third-party software, drivers, or in some cases, hardware problems also. And this is particularly true of either aging systems, of Windows systems that haven't been reinstalled in years, or you'll be surprised because that's one I get all the time. It's like, well, I've got a brand new system that's you know just a month old with all the new hardware yeah, these are the worst case scenarios. These are the ones that probably blue screen the most. Why? Because the drivers haven't stabilized yet. You don't have the proper drivers that are stable enough. And thinking that because you have a new PC with the latest hardware should not have blue screens or freezes is uh, something that um, just shows how you don't know how hardware works. And you'll have a lot of, actually, I had a lot of comments when we talked about it here on the channel saying, yep, I built a new system and it took many months before the drivers and everything settled down and I didn't have any problems. And once again, they're not Windows related. Windows is okay. It's really the drivers and related to some settings sometimes for the hardware. First thing that you need to check, okay? You've got a blue screen that appeared on your computer first thing that you need to actually understand is what is new on my system is did i do something different recently did i install something new did i install a new software um, on my computer what think about what you did think about what you might have changed what you might have added and from here you can actually start thinking of the next step so, of course, the first thing you need to know is, did you install new apps in your computer? And so, what? Did you install a new antivirus? What did you uh, install recently? And you can, of course, end the apps installed, go by date installed, and look at what are the latest software that you installed on your computer, and that's going to actually give you a list of all the information that you might need so that's the first thing by date installed is the first uh, thing that you might want to check after you did that after by date installed um, so of course that's going to give you an idea of maybe something in the latest updates of something for example here if i would have had a blue screen since yesterday i would have suspected one little thing is my nvidia drivers those were updated yesterday. So that could be the problem. That could be uh, drivers particularly. Or if you've installed a third-party antivirus or any software or cleaner software or anything that is brand new, does it coincide with that new piece of software? Same with drivers. Now, some drivers show up with Windows updates, and they might have shown up here and you installed them. Do you have blue screens since that new driver? That also is something that's going to kind of tell you, well, since I installed that brand new driver for the sound or for the video card or whatever for network, I got blue screens. 
that tells you that that driver might actually be a problem and that um, it actually might be a faulty driver. And it happens regularly that manufacturers will issue a driver and people are just going to not be very happy because it causes a lot of problems. So these are things to check out because it is common that this happens. So check for what you did recently. And does it coincide with the blue screens? The blue screens appeared at the same time you installed that software. Uninstall it. The blue screens appeared at the same time as the new driver. Maybe you want to install it. These are things to check out because it happens very often. Once again, 95% even more of blue screens are not Windows related at all. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.